Hello, this is Player One with Basement Hero. I'm bringing you Project D Online today. This is a levels 1 through 30 impression, what I've got so far. First thing to be noted, this is a game made by one developer. This is his first time on Steam, so it's got issues. It's definitely got a lot of things to work on, but as uh, one developer goes, he did a really, really good job. Uh, the other thing to note is that English is not his first language, so a lot of the stuff that he puts in this game and a lot of the notes that he puts on the sites they might not be <laughs> well very easy to understand so with this game it is the release but actually it's more of a alpha or a pre-alpha release it only has the first 30 levels or so you can level higher but that's as high as the quests go so first off you got the starting screen here go ahead and log in if you have taken a look at the other videos I've made online, you will see a lot of the character creation, you'll see the bosses, some of the first leveling, so I'll skip most of that. Uh, you can see here you got four different servers as it is right now. I go to log in. So I got my person, level 27, made a strider. You can kind of see there's a little bit on the screen, not a whole lot, the character creation isn't too in-depth. The cell shading, though, is actually very nice. So I'll choose my character. You can choose a random channel. The loading times in this game are actually really, really fast, which is nice. Anyway, so get in here. Cell shading, as I said, very pretty looking. Uh, you can kind of see when I move it around, it sometimes is a little choppy. That might have to do with the, the servers the guy uses or what. I don't know. Uh, see, a little bit choppy, but not too bad. The main point to this game is that it is an MMO, but it is not a lock-on MMO. So you have the uh, crosshairs there, and that is how you aim and fire. There's only five different weapons as of right now. You can also see there's a number gauge right there, 296. That is the amount of ammo clips I have. Uh, the counter should be going down more when I use my ammo. I don't know why it's not right now. But as the abilities go, that is the ability, is just changing weapons. So you have these five different weapons, three ranged, two melee. The melee in this game, uh, you might want to use a little bit of it into the PvE content, but for PvP it's pretty worthless. You have a fast sword, and then you have a big slow sword. When you use these weapons, you attack, and then I'm trying to move, trying to move, trying to move, and just now can start moving. So once again, melee, kinda broken. You have twin machine guns here. You have a big ol' rocket launcher. And then you have a sniper rifle. Uh, each of them have different amounts of ammo you can use. Each of them do different damage, have different ranges. Uh, as I said earlier, I am a strider class. There's the strider, there's the guardian, and then the esper. The guardian is kind of like the tanky class, esper is healer, and strider is supposed to be TBS. Now the problem with that is, bring up my mouse here, these two abilities here, fast walk and slow walk, you got fast walk for yourself, slow walk for other people, those are the only two abilities right now that striders get. The espers get a whole lot and the guardians get a few as well, and the guardian probably is one of the strongest classes right now because it gets a physical attack bonus. So I'll bring up a few things here, you got the character screen, the stats, you get points for leveling. You can put them in different, different things, Intel for the EP or mana. You got Vitality for HP, Strength and Dexterity. Strength is supposed to increase your physical attack, Dexterity is supposed to increase your physical defense. The points though, most of them should be put into Vitality. The Strength and Dexterity, I think for every four points you put in, you get one of these. So it's, oh, it's kinda kind of broken there. The screen's easy to move around, it's kinda nice. What else we got here? Uh, all these different numbers. I have different items equipped on my person that will do different things like wave attack and wave resistance, physical defense, ice attack, light attack, fire attack, and something they have not put in yet. <laughs> uh, I did not put on goggles. They do not give any kind of bonuses or anything. The inventory. Got three different bags here. Uh, it's a little clunky to work with, not too terrible, could be better. Uh, another part of this being a pre-alpha release, the 
bank that you can use or the storage there is an option for storage but it is not implemented in the game yet what else we have here we have options change character we got different settings whoops uh, yeah you can bring up your mouse in different ways you can look here to see all the missions I have actually completed all of the missions in the game so far except for this PvP quest where you have to win the PvP matches uh, I described a little bit on my PvP video, it is kinda terrible in the game. It's very, very unbalanced right now. Uh, luckily, in a most recent patch, he took out one of the things where to craft some of these weapons, you had to win in the PvP, but he took that out, which is a very, very good addition, because, as I said, it's very unbalanced. You can have a level 1 going up against a level 27. No chance for the level 1 to win. So, let's see what else we got here. The quests are very basic and generic. It's most of the time just kill this, loot that, come back. So very, very, very easy. Quests show up very easily as well. You'll see the quest. Oh, there's uh, one to bring up. So you can bring up buddy, trade, party, whisper, talk. There's a little bit going on with the quests. Nothing too special. Not going to do it. These here are the zones. You can Sometimes you have to jump to go through them. That's a little bit of an issue. You can see here as enemies go, the enemies, they do have an aggro range. One of the problems is also, well this is a lower zone so they die fast, but one of the problems is if you kite them too far they will despawn. But you can see this is what one of the zones looks like. Uh, quests very easy. As the monsters go you fight a lot of plants, moles, cats, chickens, and robots. Not a whole lot other than that. So, I already talked about the server chop, the PvP, the bosses. There are a few bosses in the game, dungeon bosses. If I bring up the map here, this shows what zone I'm in. This shows where a dungeon entrance might be. This is the zone you start in. Looks like each zone has, well, except for the base, each zone has its own dungeon. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six bosses in the game. But the problem is there's only two varieties of the bosses. There's a big wall you attack and a big robot, and those are in some other videos as well. So the bosses also have very limited actions. They're pretty easy to beat. Uh, looting, to be talked about, looting is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. That's the little egg that shows up over my character's head. The looting is automatic, so all you have to do is kill the monster and you get the stuff. Very, very nice. I like that. Crafting, uh, you'd actually have to go back to town to show you the crafting. The crafting is okay. It's not bad. It's usually just kill mobs. You get some of the loot. Bosses have a lot of your crafting materials. Bosses can be killed in different ways to drop different materials. But, as I said, they are pretty easy to kill, so it is easy to get all the materials you need off of one kill. That covers most of this, uh... Overall opinion, I paid $15 for it. I think for a $15 game, not bad. If I had to do it over again, I would do it, but I think this game is a game that would be sitting on my shelf just, you know, for a while until he patches things, puts in more content, adds, adds a lot. So he has a lot of work to do, but once again, for one guy, pretty awesome. Not a bad deal. I'd recommend picking up if you want to just fool around for a little bit and check it out, maybe if you're in an anime. Uh, you only got the male and the female and the character creation you saw. There's not a whole lot there. But worth giving a shot if you got the extra money. So once again, this is Player One with Basement Hero, and I will talk to you later.